Hey guys, welcome back. So, as you may be able to see, I have set up my other printer again. Now, technically that printer over here is going to go in this spot where this computer is. So this will be a full print station. i got to move the computer over there, but i got to change a bunch of wires. I don't have time for that right now. But, point is, I am about to finally break open this PETG filament that I bought a while back. I got this months ago, and then I haven't used it yet because I was trying to get through a couple other filaments. And then I got the Form 2 here, which is amazing. So I'm going to be using both, but I need to print some big parts. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. C3PO bicep, to be uh, exact. And we're going to do it with this stuff. So anyway, here's a look at this before I open it. I guess I should do this as an unboxing. I don't know. This is a cheap Walmart knife here. All right vacuum packed so hopefully it's nice and fresh you see, you, see you guys can see that I'm I, it's brand new I'm opening this so if I have any issues you know that's a, a fresh batch of filament yeah there we go so apparently this stuff is supposed to print as easy as PLA but it'll be a, a little bit stronger so right away I can see that it's not brittle. It does get some little stress lines when you bend the filament, but it doesn't snap like some other ones do. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty strong. Usually most filaments you can just snap a piece off. This is not snapping off at all. So, wow. Okay, cool. That's a good thing. I, I mean, I could probably really force this and break it, but look at that. It just stretches where I've been pulling it and it doesn't snap, which is very interesting. So, anyway, I'm going to throw this on the printer, get printing. We'll come back once I get the print finished and check it out. Uh, see you in a minute. All right, guys. So I had my first few tests with the PETG filament. Um, this is the first thing I made here. It is a C-3PO arm part. Now, when I print these, I have to print in two pieces. This one was... It's, it's not good, but it's passable. Like, I could make this one work if I had to. But I could tell that I didn't quite have the settings figured out. And this filament has to be printed very hot, right at the edge of what my printer can handle, which is uh, 260. Might, it might be able to go hotter, but the software only lets it go up to 260 degrees for the extruder. And this filament prints between 250 and 260. So I had it at 260. And when I was running it at the full speed, I could hear the extruder having trouble pushing the filament through. And what would happen is if it went slow, it would do okay for a few minutes, but if it sped up, it would click, tick, 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 because it couldn't push it through fast enough because it was not hot enough consistently to push the filament through. The filament couldn't heat up in time to make it out of the extruder. So I ended up having to slow my print speed down by 30% less, so 70% of its normal speed is what I was printing at. And then I started to get better print um this one you can see one thin line right here this is just due to uh the the way that my filament was mounted it got hung up and it was having trouble turning so it kind of made a little weak spot i caught it before it went to haywire and then everything else printed okay up and above and below it um i also found out that my printer has when they when they did one of the updates for the software um because it uses some uh, third-party software and they have a preset now for the printer which I, I guess I downloaded at some point but there's presets for this printer I had been making up my own presets this whole time but um, I decided to use one of the presets and the quality difference is is pretty huge I don't know if you can tell in this light um, it's it, this is really rough and the, and the layer bonding is pretty bad I could probably see that I can break it apart pretty easy um, whereas this one I'm not going to do this one because it's it's, it's definitely stronger, but if I break it, I, I'm going to have to fix it because I'm using that part. But you can see the actual actual break strength of this stuff is really crazy strong. This is... Ah, I, I mean, I can't, I can't break it, um, which is awesome. So if you get good layer bond, uh, that's probably... This is probably one of the strongest filaments I've, I've seen. Let me see if I can... Like that cracking is the are the layers coming apart. It's not, it's, it doesn't break on the bend at all. See that? It, 
it's not breaking. The cracking is the are the layer bonds coming apart. And these, like I said, they printed poorly because I was running the printer too fast. So I'm running the printer slower, which is a bummer that it has to print more slowly. But the fact that it's so so strong, it just it doesn't crack. Again, layer bond. Not I'm not counting it as cracking. That's amazing to me. So this might be my new filament. I can deal with slower print speeds if it's got that kind of strength. So this upper arm here is gonna be my first, my first kind of test. And then since I found those presets for my printer, I decided to try one at the highest print speed. I just realized I've had this printer for about a year and a half. I've never, never used it on its highest print settings. I usually use it at uh, 0.3 millimeters, which is like a, a medium print setting or 0.4 millimeters, which is like a pretty crappy print setting just because I want to print things fast and they're usually big parts like this that I'm going to have to clean up anyway. So it just it doesn't matter. So I'm trying some parts here right now on the highest resolution setting. We can take a look at those. Maybe you can compare them to what comes out of the form two just to see. However, I do see that some of the parts that are printing now are um, kind of coming loose from the bed a little bit. So I, I'm going to have to fiddle with that and uh, I might have to reprint a few of them tomorrow. But these parts here that I'm printing, they are C3PO arm pistons. Typically take like, I don't know, four hours to print a batch of them or four or five hours, not maybe not even that long. Uh, and to do it on this setting with my printer speed turned down to 70%, it's gonna take, I think when I started it, it said 11 hours to print, which is a long time for this printer. So. We'll see. If it's if it comes out good, it might be worth it to use that from time to time. However, the Form 2 is just freaking awesome for uh, small detailed stuff. So we'll see. I think um, I'm going to run a short trooper helmet pretty soon on this printer, and then I'll do all the detail pieces on this printer, and we can put them together. Might be an upcoming video. Again, not a priority, just something I'll probably run in the background, and when I have the chance to assemble it, I will. But it is time for me to get back to work. So thanks for stopping by. I will be back soon with more stuff. That chroming tutorial for this stuff, um, I will be filming it this week, and then I will post it as soon as I can. So uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Have fun. Later. Bye.